Hey everyone and welcome to the last part of this eBay lot search. Now, the first couple of videos I've been saying this is like around a 300 card lot. I went and did a little bit of counting. I, I didn't count every single card because I'm lazy, but I did count out a stack of 100. So that right there is 100 cards. The stacks we've been doing are more like that size, which is well over 100. So I think this lot is probably around 500 cards, at least 450 or so. Might even be as much as like 600, but I'm going to go ahead and call this like a 400 plus in like the thumbnail and title and stuff. I'll call it 400 plus, but it's probably more like 500 to 600 cards. So that's pretty crazy. I didn't think it was that many. I guess I'm just kind of bad at estimating, but let's go ahead and get to it and see what we got today. And we are Boom. starting off amazingly well. We've already got Altaria EX right Right on the front. Kind of looks weird. My camera's like making that look all bizarre. Wow, look at that crud. But, well, there you go. Our first EX already. That's awesome. And we have a Dialga Reverse Holographic. Very, very awesome. We've got a Dust Ox. Let me put the EX back there so I don't lose it in the swarm. Here we've got Dust Ox and a Tentacool doing some karate, I guess. We've got Mareep, which is, I think, a Gen 6 card right there. I mean, Mareep is obviously Gen 2, but I think that's from a Gen 6 set. Maybe Gen 5? I'm not sure. We've got Buizel and Ponyta. There's, oop, we got a Vulpix. We've seen that one before. We've got a Psychic Energy. Reverse Hollow Voltorb. Awesome. We've got a really cool looking Magnemite. Kind of reminds me of like the little spirit orbs from Final Fantasy X when Yuna does her dance thing. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but if you do, awesome. We've got an Electric Energy. Another one there. An Electrike. Very cool. We've got Baby's Search. There is a Grass Energy and a Nidorino, which... Kind of looks like it might be Reverse Hollow. No, it's not. It's just a regular Uncommon right there, but it is Delta Species. We've got a Starmie. There's a Sneasel. Armor Fossil. Electabuzz. Interviewer's Question. Ekans, which does not look like he fits that background at all. It just kind of looks like it's out of place there. We've got Noctowl. There's a Rhydon and Machoke. Oh, we might have something else good. We've got Slowbro and a Reverse Holographic Gliscor. I really can't tell what that symbol is. Let's take a close-up. If you guys can tell what that symbol right there is let me know but to me it just looks like a square I, I really can't tell what that is it might be like the Japanese symbol for four but I'm not sure why they would put that on here let's move that guy aside we've got Arbok and another reverse holographic this time an armor fossil and that one is really beat up it's all over the place here we've got an Erica's Clefairy I actually, when I first started doing this lot, I think the very first thumbnail, I kind of just lifted up a thing to take a quick peek. And I think this is the card that showed up in that first thumbnail. Here we've got a Fighting Energy, there's a Water Energy, a Grass Energy, and a Doe Duo from Base Set 2. We've got a Reverse Holographic once again. I guess this might be the part with a bunch of Reverse Hollows. We've got Professor Elm's Training Method, which is, I guess, dropping stuff out of your pockets. I'm not really sure how that's training, but there you go. Here we've got another Electric Energy. There's, oh, we got another one of these McDonald's cards. We've got Dweeble this time, or Dweeble, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. But now we've got two of the McDonald's cards. I think there was like five in total. No, wait, wait, wait. It says three out of 12, so maybe there was 12 in total. So there you go, McDonald's cards. We've got a Spoink leaping for something. We've got a Gligar, which looks oddly similar pose-wise to, to the uh, Spoink right there. Got a Shelter. There's a Psychic Energy and a Galactic HQ with the G. We've got Weedle chilling on top of a leaf. I'm not sure if he's light enough for that to float. He weighs 7 pounds. There's no way that leaf would carry him. We've got Grimer, and there's a Seedra. Trico, Delta Species Psychic type Trico. We've got Execute with the one poor Execute that, uh, or one poor egg that's kind of broken. We've got Voltorb. We've got Scraggy. This is the one, the McDonald's card. I'm pulling up this McDonald's card a lot today, but this is what it's based off of. So it's kind of just the holographic version of that guy right there. So it is a black and white card. Uh, we've also got an Energy Search. We've got a Riolu. We've got a Reverse Holo Alteria, which is really scuffed up. It almost looks like a sticker. This might not even be a real card. I think this might be a sticker, but maybe it's a real card. It is... I mean, it looks it looks like a sticker, because usually Reverse Holos don't have it all the way across like that. Could be wrong, but there's that. We've got a Tyrogue. A Frostlass Holographic. Very nice. And that one's a GL, whatever that crud means. We've got a Nidoking Holographic. We might have some hollows right here. There's Nidoking punching a boulder because that's what he does. We've got Gardevoir Holographic as well with Psychic Lock and Telepass. We've got, okay, back to non hollows. We got Apom. Oh, but back to holographics. We've got a Gallade. Well, this is awesome, guys. We've already got all the EXs in crud. Now we're getting some hollows, which are also awesome to see. We've got Bastiodon. Very cool. Wow, we've got a lot of them too. We've got Star Raptor right here. We've got, okay, back to Grimer. We've got a Dratini. We've seen that one before as well. 
Oh, another spooky haunter. This is such a cool art. I've seen a lot of cool arts on these different sets lately. Oh, look at that. Holographic Deoxys. That is a cool card. Let's set him down. We've also got Holographic Zoroark. Look at this guy. He's just dashing like crazy, man. We've got a Team Galactic, uh, Team Galactic's Mars. That is not holographic. We've got a Grass Energy, which looks like it has a booger on it. What the crud is that crud? I don't know if that's a booger. Or maybe it's the ketchup from before. Maybe someone spilled ketchup all over the cards. I mean, there are McDonald's cards, so maybe kids are playing with their cards at McDonald's and getting ketchup on everything. Here we've got a Rhydon. There's Koga's Ninja Trick, which is... That's actually a censored card. You can go look up the Japanese version. It has a, a Manji symbol on it, which uh, some people think is a swastika. Here we've got a Grass Energy. We've got a Paris. That's from uh, one of the Neo sets. What the? That's a weird-looking Diglett. For a second, I was like, Diglett EX! Oh my gosh! But... It's not Diglett EX, it's just a very cool looking Diglett. Got a Centret right there. There's a Ralts and a Horsey with all the bubbles. We've got a Ghastly. There's a Bulbasaur. I've got a lot of Bulbasaurs in this one. I don't think we've got any Squirtles or any Charmanders, but I've got like five Bulbasaurs. Okay, we got this Squirtle at least. I mean, we, we haven't got any of the base, the original Squirtles. We've got Corsola. Look at this guy. He's so cute, dude. We've got a Water Energy. And a Ghastly. This one is from the World Championships 2009. I, can, I can't actually read that uh, signature. I think it might be Jason M. Kind of looks like Bacon M, but... Well, I think it's probably Jason, but there's that guy. And here is the last stack right here. Let's see what we got in the rest of this eBay lot. We've got a Burmy. There's Imposter Professor Oak. Grass Energy and Gambler. Galactic Headquarters. Ivysaur. We've got a uh, Jungle Jigglypuff right there. We've got Switch and Professor Oak. There's another Grass Energy. Lots of these guys. Maybe this guy was a fan of Grass Pokemon because we got all those Bulbasaur's and I think I've got more Grass Energies than anything else. So maybe they played a lot of Grass stuff. I'm not sure. Here we've got a Waylord. There's a Spinarak and a Growlithe. Water Energy. Okay, we've got another Japanese card. Let's see if I can read this. I think that says... Gu... Uh... Guraiga? I guess it'd be Guraiga, which is Gligar, basically. Just sounding Japanese. But here we've got a Grimer. Also, I know my Japanese pronunciation is terrible. I'm still learning. I'm only like six months in. Here we've got a Misty Staryu. Machop and Miasma Valley. Oh, we got another holographic. This time, a Magnezone which is a steel type, still using those electric energies. Of course, he's a steel and electric type there. We've got, wow, that feels weird. This one feels weird as well. I don't know, maybe the, some of these just feel weird, but maybe it's a sticker as well, I'm not sure. Here we've got an Ekans. There's Potion and a Super Rod. What is he catching? Can you guys tell what that is down there? It might be a shark, but it might be a Pokemon. What Pokemon has three fins like that? I'm not sure, maybe... I don't know, I, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but there's probably something. We've got a Shaman Reverse Holographic, the cute form Shaman, awesome. There's a Nidoran female, speaking of cute. We've got a Mysterious Fossil. Okay, there's a Charmander, so there is something in here. We've got a Staryu and Imposter Oak's Revenge. There's a Holographic Kabutops, look at that guy with Primal Scythe and Rock Slide. One thing I've noticed, we've got a lot of Holographics and EXs, which is awesome. I don't think we've got any holographics from the old set, even though we've got a lot of comments from that set. I don't think we've got any old school holographics, which is kind of a bummer, but not a big deal, dude. We've got a really messed up card. That might be the worst one we've seen. It is. Straight up, I'm going to say it is. Oh, wait a second. Do you guys recognize that pattern right there? I bet you this card was stuck to that Garchomp we got. So this is probably part of that Garchomp card right there. Here we've got a Psychic Energy and a Reverse Hollow Sableye, just munching on some gems right there. We've got a Slow King. We've got Reverse Hollow Plus Power. There is a Curlia, Arbok, Switch, Gambler, Low Punny. There's Magneton, Energy Search. Looks like he's got like some ink tanks right there. We've got a Grass Energy, Potion, Imposter Professor Oak. We're almost done with this one, guys. We've got a Totodile. We've got Grass Energy, there's Mime Jr. I think this might be the last card. No, we've still got one more behind it. Mom's Kindness, and we've got a Bulbasaur. Wait, 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 we're not done yet. There's still one more. We've got Venusaur Promo. Okay, there's also an Electric Energy. Don't worry about that. But we got another old school Black Star Promo. Number 13 right there. An awesome, beautiful Venusaur card. And that is going to wrap things up for this opening. That was a lot better than I was expecting. The actual cards we got... 
awesome. Absolutely worth it. We got like nearly 500 cards, maybe above 500. Lots of EXs, lots of level Xs. Not the craziest lot I've had. I, I've had some ridiculous lots, but still pretty gosh dang awesome. The only downside was a lot of the cards were in pretty bad shape, but in terms of the cards we actually got, pretty gosh dang awesome, and I'm super excited about that. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I guess I'll see you next time. We're gonna have a very special video on Saturday, so definitely check back for that. I'll see you guys then. Take care!